the Heria. A heavily armed assault class submarine officially designed for unconventional warfare operations by the Coalition, the Heria stands as one of few submarines that can truly be considered a specialized alternate to the venerable humpback. Known to Coalition servicemen as the Egg Cracker, the Heria was specially designed in response to a call by the Coalition Admiralty, who were seeking a vessel that was capable of wiping out mud raptor or thresher nests that may have formed along high traffic glacial passageways. In order to achieve this, the designers of the Heria repositioned several of its weapon systems with an emphasis on dive team support over raw firepower. This makes the Heria one of a select number of standardized vessels that have near 100% arcs of fire with its weapon systems, but the isolated nature of the hard points makes it difficult to bring multiple weapons to bear on larger targets. Despite being a fairly standard assault class submarine, the Heria continues to distinguish itself in small ways. Coming in at a hull length of 41 meters, the Heria supports a minimal cargo capacity of four standard containers, but comes equipped with a full fabrication and recycling suite with the intention of producing ammunition on board. The Heria features a twin propeller design, utilizing a pair of Colomb model electromagnetic propulsion systems to reach a top cruising speed of 16 km per hour, tied to a descent velocity of 15 km per hour. While not the fastest assault class ship on the market, the Heria's speed is actually purposefully shortened to ensure that its engine speed does not exceed the range of its sonar systems. In order to supply its healthy complement of arms and twin-engine propulsion system, the Harriet comes standard with an enhanced fourth-generation Horn and Wang Teller model reactor, capable of outputting a powerful 4800 kilowatts. This output level allows it to handily supply its engines, while leaving plenty of spare power to feed into the supercapacitors. To the average civilian captain, the Harriet's standard armaments are a bit perplexing. It comes standard with a 16,000 kilowatt Ampiera railgun mounted at the upper rear of the submarine, a rear-facing Volt model coil gun, and a Galay model chain gun mounted at the central keel. In addition to this, it comes equipped with a forward Stinger electrical discharge system and a rear-mounted dump and depth charge. A final hardpoint is available at the forward keel. The complement of armament on a Heria is only part of its appeal as the odd alignment of its weapons are uniquely suited to provide coverage both to the vessel and to its dive teams. The rear coil gun and lower chain gun both provide easy access and wide arcs of fire with anti-swarm weapons, intended to be utilized against next occupants that are flushed or drawn out by a dive team. The Heria, as a latest generation attack vessel, commands a steep asking price of 15,300 marks. Technically speaking, the vessel is actually a flat 15,000 marks from the manufacturer, but the 300 marks is a courtesy bribe to dockyard officials who slipped the vessel to you over its intended military assignment. While its awkward weapon emplacement locations are not ideal for combating larger open life forms, the Heria stands true to its shell-shattering moniker and stands ready to ensure the glacial passages remain clear of any and all nesting critters.